Every year, between 1,200 and 1,500 Year 13 STEM form students leave Hawke's Bay never to return. They go off to university, they study, uh, they find jobs elsewhere. Those that do return do so up over three years later and up to 30000 over $30,000 in debt. What if, instead of spending $2 million on attracting tourists to Hawke's Bay, we spent $2 million trying to keep those youth here? It's a big market. Yeah, 10 to 20 year olds in Hawke's Bay actually outnumber those 40 to 50 or 50 to 60. But you don't hear about it because in this gap, they all leave. The region suffers. So rather than spending $2 million on tourism, we put $2 million into keeping youth here, get them into paid internships, um, apprenticeships, because the kids that are coming back from university with $30,000 debt and a qualification deserve more than you end up working as a barista or as an apple picker. But here's the thing, if we start industries and develop industries where it's not just the baristering, but it's the developing of the coffee culture. We get horticultural sciences, growing apples, different types of apples, disease resistances for apples, learning, developing, making Hawke's Bay better, making the world better, increasing income and making Hawke's Bay richer demographically and financially for the experience.